Good morning. What is that? Oh. Good morning, Lady Lolo. Good morning, Nikki. How are you guys doing? How was your weekend? Ooh. How was your weekend? Good morning, Tara. How are you doing? It is Monday. We made it a whole nother week, a whole nother weekend. Thank God. Is the music too low, too high for you guys? Let me know. Good morning, Kim. First time today, Tammy. Welcome in, Ta Tammy. All right. Give it all you got. But be easy on yourself. Be easy. <laughs> be easy on yourself. Um, thank you guys so much for the likes. Good morning, Kayla. Everybody is here early. Uneventful weekend of this morning. Back at it. Yep. That's all. That's 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 all it is, right? <laughs> Good morning, Marcy. Good morning, Big Knees. Big Kneesy. Not the little. Not the little one. Okay. <laughs> Week two and I'm ready. That's what I'm talking about. Week two and I'm ready. I'm not going to lie. I think that low, in cold, low impact cardio is it. Um, especially because you really feel all of your muscles being fully engaged. So I'm loving it. I, I was ready. <laughs> you were ready. So you're not ready anymore. Some... Sometimes on Mondays, I don't know what happens, but I hit the snooze button. And this morning I hit the snooze button. And before I knew it, it was 645. And I have like four, four alarms that wake me up in the morning. I have 630, 645, 650, and then six o'clock. So if I'm, so if I, so even if I get up at six, we still don't start the workout until 605. So I have time to throw on some clothes and get myself together. I fixed it. So we just going to keep doing low. No, I'm thinking that we're going to, that we're going to mix it up from time to time because when you do one exercise, you don't want to keep jumping into other ones. So we're going to do this for a little bit and then switch it up a little bit. I have to drag and crawl out of bed on Mondays. Yeah, on Mondays, it is one of those, it is that that day that you really got to really ask yourself, why am I doing this? <laughs> Do I really want to live my life like this? And then you're like, ah, shucks, let me just get on up. Because if I don't do it, then I'm going to feel bad for not doing it. And then so be it. I have to, um, my screen name. What is your screen name? Do you guys have like names to wake yourself up? Like I have one that says, get up, get up now. You're going to be late. Get up. Like I, I put things in there that trigger me. That's like, oh my gosh, shut up. You know? And I just get up. Good morning. Greetings. Good morning. Peace, gods. Stay grounded and fast for love and merely God's divine energy. All right. Thank, thank you so much. Good morning. Neat, Neithra, you know, I, I was actually thinking about you last week. I was like, I didn't see her come into the chat after that one day. Did you do the workout every day? Have you been doing it? What's, what's, what's the tea? What's the tea? What's the tea? Good morning, all 237 of you guys. My name is Tanya. I go by Tanya Introvert on all of my social media handles. And we're doing low impact workout for weight loss. We're also doing a little bit of strength training. Um, so if you're, if that's something that you're into, just join in, you can look in and then come back tomorrow and do the workout. Hello boss. I'm saying I fixed my screen name. Oh yes, yes, yes. It was, oh yeah, it was number. So now we have the name. Perfect. Big easy. Good morning, Kay. Good morning, Dominique. Good morning, user 762. All right, guys, it's 605. Let's get started. That's it for the chit chat. Your hair is so cute. Thank you. I'm trying to keep the curls because they're going to drop later. So make sure you guys got your water. All right. Music is going. All right. Let's turn that up a little bit. I started back walking, jogging on the treadmill. I think I'm going to do every other day with you. Yes, that's perfect. That is perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Thank you for the hearts. 
All right, so we're gonna warm up. We're just gonna walk in place. We're gonna walk in place, move your arms. Whew, I think I'm talking too loud because my son. Thank you so much for the compliment. We're just gonna walk in place from Trinidad. Good morning from Trinidad. All right. We got 10 more seconds to walk in place. You can do side to side if you need to, to just give your hips a little bit more mobility. All right. All right, so now we're going to lift our leg up, hands up. So we're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're just gonna go up, hand touches the knee. 20, 19, 18, 17. Raise that knee up as high as you can. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, nine, wait, 10, <laughs> All right. eight, you got this, seven, six, five, engage the core, four, three, let's go, two, one, we're gonna go side to side, turn that leg, 19, 18, engage your core, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're gonna go up and down. We're gonna get up on our tippy toes when we go up. We start at 6 a.m. and it's a 30 minute workout. Thank you guys for sharing the live. Tippy toe, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, Whew, losing my balance, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, whew, six, five, four, let's go. Three, you can do it. Two, one, whew. first round. Thank you guys so much for the follows. We have three more rounds to go. Yes, yeah, 6 a.m. Eastern time, guys. I made it. You made it. <laughs> All right. I'm just trying to catch up. Hello. How many hours? I want to know after how many hours. After you work out, you should eat within 30 minutes of your workout. I drink pro, pro protein. I also have a green drink. And then I have my breakfast like within the third, within the 30 minutes, sometimes a little longer. Every morning, except for the weekend. All right, so let's get back into it. Raise that leg up as high as you can, guys. Try your best. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Try to keep your core engaged as well if you can. 6, 5, 4, ooh, 3, 2, 1. Oh my gosh. Side to side. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, ba A, <laughs> 2, 1. I'm trying to make it fun for myself. <laughs> 
20, 19, tippy toes, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, I'm losing my balance, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Whew. 2 rounds, thank you me, thank you Sol, Sol and Diva, thank you so much, thank you guys for the follows, this is our 30 second break, Whew. catch your breath a little bit, not too much, <laughs> not too much water, Whew. you might get cramps, things like that, all right, Whew. five more seconds, and we're getting back into it, we got this though, we got this, give it your best, all right, let's go again, 20, 19, make sure you're moving your hands. 18, if you got to do like this, that's fine too. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, Ooh. 10, 9, oh my gosh, 8, 7, you can do it. Six, five, four, three. This slow movement. Whew. Two, we could do it though. One. Woo. Woo. All right, side to side. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Make sure you turn that leg. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, up and down. And up on your tippy toes, okay? Down. Tippy toe. Tippy toe. Tippy toe. 17. 16. 15. 14. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. Six, five, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. I can't do a workout on the tippy toes. Okay. If you guys can't go up on the tippy toes, that's fine. Just go up and down. Great way to start the day. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. Mm. Do what you can, exactly. Do whatever you can, guys. You don't have to lift your leg up all the way really high. We're just having our 30 second break. Make sure that you're moving. Suitable for pregnant women? Uh, I would say no. I mean, low impact workouts they say are good, but I haven't done the research for this, for pray for pregnant moms. Ooh, I'm gonna sneeze. <sighs> All right, trying to catch my breath, holding back a sneeze, there's a lot going on right now. All right, let's get back into it, our last round. But I am gonna do my research. That gives me something to, re to research. Can a pregnant woman do this? But then also you wanna check with your doctor, because I'm not a doctor. All right, let's get back into it. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay. 
we could do it. No negativity on Monday. All right, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, we can do it. 13, 12, 9, 10, 9, I keep jumping to 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, burning that fat, 1, burning the fluff, sorry, side to side, we call it fluff over here, 17, 16, you got this, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. We're going to go up and down. Do your best. You don't have to get on your tippy toes. All right. Let's go. Whew. If we missed any, that's okay. <laughs> Whew. Okay. If we missed any, that's fine. Let's just keep going. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, oh my gosh, two, this is our last set, one, that's it for the cardio. Hello. So you're just going to steal Billy Blank's routine? <laughs> Who is that again? All right, so we're resting. 30 seconds. Whew. Wish I had those knees. My knees are not the best, especially this left one. My knees are not the best, but low impact workouts. If you have bad knees, you can modify it. You can do it sitting in a chair. You can do it um, where you don't have to use your knees, like for the up and down. You can just go up and down. Just move your arms for everything else. You can just try to turn your body. That's it. But of course, ask your physical therapist. <laughs> All right, so let's grab our weights. I'm using 10 pound. I'm looking for 12 or 15 pounds because I need to up my weights. But if you're just starting out, five pounds or 10 pounds is good enough. All right, man. Okay, we can do it. My stomach. All right, deep breath in, blow that out the mouth. Let's gather ourselves, because I know I'm not the only one that's out of breath. Deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. All right, we are good to move on to the next exercise. All right, we got that oxygen in. We're gonna stand with our legs. Our knees are slightly bent, okay? All right, we're gonna work out on our arms right now. So we're gonna go up right to our chest area. All right, we're going to do that 12 times. That's already two, 10, nine, eight, elbows are to the ceiling, seven, six, five, we can do it, four, three, two, engage your core if you can, one, all right? So we're gonna turn our weight like this. We're gonna go up. We're gonna turn it down and go down. All right, turn it up. This is one, turn it down to go down. Turn up, that's 12, 11, 10, nine. Wait, this is nine. I'm, I'm over counting, guys. This is eight. 
This is seven. This is six. This is five. This is four. This is three. This is two. This is one. Ooh, that, was lit. that was a little confusing in the beginning, but we're gonna get it for the next round. All right, Whew. All right, so now we're gonna do a shoulder press. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. We're gonna put the weights down for 20 seconds. Whew. Hey, girlfriend, nice. Um, um, breath though. But, okay, hey. Thank you guys so much for the follow. Thank you for the follows. All right. Whew. Our rest is over. Oh my gosh, I hope my son doesn't wake up. All right. So let's start from the beginning. Whew. Whew, I felt that. Yes. You want to feel it, you know? You want to feel it. You don't want to not feel it. So that is awesome. All right, let's start from the beginning. 12, 11, 10. Keep your core engaged as best as you can. Eight. Elbows to the ceiling. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Whew. Three. This one I really feel. Two, oh my gosh. One. Oh. Over with that one. <laughs> Don't forget, up, facing up, turn it down, go down. That's 12. <sighs> 11. 10. <sighs> 9. <sighs> 8. Seven, we could do it. Six, five, four, we could do it. Three, two, ooh, one. Oh my gosh. It's not until you feel the burn, that's when your muscles are really being in, engaged, okay? All caps. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, okay, we can do it, 4, 3, 2, oh my gosh, 1, Ooh. all right, put the weights down for 30 seconds. 30 second rest. This is our last round and then we're gonna get down and do our core and our glutes and then stomach vacuums. Stomach vacuums are a little bit past the 30 minutes but with the core and the glutes, we usually hit 30 minutes, all right? 30 minute workout, Monday through Friday to get you started with your day. All right, last set. We got this guys, okay? If you can't do it, just do, just do your best. Do whatever you can. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, okay, 1. Oh my gosh. All right. Second round, down, that's 12, 11, 10, 9, 
eight. You could do it. Seven. Six. Ah. Four. I'm doing my best. Three. Two. I one. Ah. We are gonna have nice toned arms, guys. When Christmas time rolls around, wow, I wasn't gonna go to the gym today, and this was the sign. Hello, I'm new here. Hi, Molly. <sighs> Listen, Christmas is gonna roll around and we're gonna step out into the Christmas parties looking nice. People are gonna be like, what, do, what, what have you been doing? <laughs> 10, nine, eight, we got this. Seven, six, five, four, three, oh gosh. Two, one, Ooh. you know it's really intense when you start making faces and all that stuff. <laughs> uh, dang, I did it Ooh, with all 10 pounds. Tara, wow, you did it with 10 pounds? That is awesome. Have you guys ever heard of progressive overload? If you haven't, that is what you want to do if you want to gain muscle in your arms and tone them up nice. You want to progressively overload. So if you start out with five and you get used to five, you go to 10. If you get used to 10, you want to, in, in, to increase it to build more muscle. You go to 12 or 15. And I would, say, I would say for a woman, you can go up as high as 20 if you want, but 15 should be good. Especially if you don't want, you know, a certain look, which I know we all don't want. Suck most for some of us. Yes. Okay. Hi from Argentina. Definitely making faces in grunting too. Yes. If you're making faces in grunting, you know you're really hitting the, the um, you're hitting the mark. All right. So let's get into our core workout. I'm getting my resistance band, my camera to watch my son. <sighs> if you weren't grunting, you can grunt tomorrow. It's, it's only Monday. All right, so for the core workout, we're gonna do the one that we have been doing because it's so effective. We're gonna start a different one probably next week. All right, to work out other muscles in our core. All right, so for this one, you wanna get the opposite hand and the opposite leg. Make sure you lift your shoulder off the ground. That's how you're gonna feel it, okay? Hold on, let me move the mic because it's gonna make, it's gonna rub against my arm. Okay, let's go. This is, oh, look at me, doing it wrong. <laughs> 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, you can do it, three, two, one more, I know you're feeling it and that's good, Whew. we did it, we could just rest here for 30 seconds, I'm looking at the timer, Whew. 30 seconds, now if you're into stomach vacuums you can do it laying down just like this okay just and engage your core make sure your belly button is hitting your back and there you go you can do your stomach vacuums like that you don't have to do it standing up all right so that is you know time for rest let's go ahead and get back into our last set of core 15 14 make sure your shoulder is off the ground 13, 12, ay, ay, ay. Okay, we could do it. 11, 10, 9, oh my gosh. Why, why am I really feeling it? Is it because it's Monday? Dang. Okay, eight. Shoulder off the ground, 
seven, six. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, we can do it. Five, four, three, two. Oh my gosh. One more. Shoulder off the ground. Ah, and one. Oh my goodness. That was a lot, okay? Whew. All right, so let's get into our donkey kicks. Actually, let's just let's just take our time. Let's get the good little 20 more seconds. But you can put you can put your resistance band on. You can put it right above your knee. That's how you're gonna get muscle in your leg. Tomorrow we're gonna do some leg workouts. I don't want us to abandon our legs because they're going to get nice and toned. But we want to build some muscle, you know. We want to build a little bit of muscle. A little, a little bit or a lot of it, depending on how much weight you want to use. All right, so if you got bad knees, make sure you grab a pillow for your knees to give them a lot of cushion, extra cushion. For the donkey kicks and the extension, we're going to be on our, el our elbows like this, not like this. We want full engagement all right we're gonna do 10 and five pumps on each side for the first round 10 we're gonna hold it up for one second nine eight seven six keep your core engaged if you can five four three two one extend five four three Two, one, good job. Next side, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Then we get to hold it up for one second. Three, two, one, extend, five, four, three, two, one, bring that in, and we're going to rest. Oh, we're going to rest for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven. We haven't hit the 30-minute full-body workout mark yet. We have one more exercise to go, but we're doing really good. So just hang in there. And we're going to get into our stomach vacuums at the end. We're just going to strengthen your core. You're going to love it. If you're new here, you're going to love it. All right, let's get back into it. We're going to do... 10 and 10, okay? So hold it for one second. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Your body's gonna thank you later. Five. Keep that in your mind. <laughs> Three. Two. One. Extend. 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, that feels good, right? Oh my gosh. Ooh, that was given all it needed to give, y'all. <laughs> all right, next side. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, you can do it. One, extend. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We did that, y'all. You did a good job. Good job. We got one more exercise to go. Let's see. It's 634. We're giving, we are making good time. All right. We're gonna rest for 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna get into our crisscross. We're gonna do this nonstop for 30 seconds. All right, nonstop for 30 seconds. Crisscross. 30, 29, 28, 27. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 
21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. You can do it. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! We did that. All right, we did that. So we're going to rest here for 10 seconds, and we're going to hold our leg in the air. For We're going to try for two minutes. Two minutes, and then right after this, we're doing our stomach vacuums. All right, full body workout, strengthening our core, toning up our legs, toning our glutes. We're doing everything in 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes. And guess what's going to get us to our goal? Being consistent and eating in a calorie deficit, all of that, guys. <sighs> all right, we're going to hold our legs up. What time is it? <sighs> what is my clock saying? Okay. All right, we're going to do one minute instead because it's already past the 30 minutes, so I want to value everybody's time, give you guys time to get ready for work and do the full workout. All right, so we're just going to hold it for one minute. Um, and I do want to thank the new people for coming in, um, and I want to thank everybody that has been here. Thank you guys so much. We're all putting ourselves at the top of the day to make sure that we're in a better mood for everybody else. There's one thing that I could say about working out is that boy, it makes you in a, it, 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 it really releases the endorphins that you need to help you with um, getting over things very easily and staying in a good mood. I can vouch for that. Um, and that's that on that. That's all I got to say. If, if you don't do a workout for other stuff, at least let it put you in a good mood. You walk around smiling because nobody knows what you're doing in the morning, but you feel good. You're like, hey, y'all don't know that I was just sweating bullets. I look good. I feel good. <laughs> Enjoy your journey. Enjoy it. Whether you go to the gym or you work out at home, enjoy the process. And that's it for us holding our legs. Good job. Good job. Good job. We're going to just get a few seconds of stretching. So we're gonna take a deep breath in and blow that out as we bring our leg closer. You wanna stretch, especially if it's your first time. If it's the top of the journey, your journey, you wanna make sure and stretch because you haven't worked those muscles in a while. Deep breath in, blow that out as you bring your leg closer. You wanna make sure to stretch, drink water. You're supposed to drink at least, I think they said, eight bottles a day or half a gallon or 16 liters, however that goes. Make sure you drink water. You've been working out, you've been sweating, your muscles need it, um, and eat your protein. Eat some eggs, five, four, three, two, one. Oatmeal, I had oatmeal with egg whites yesterday for the first time, and I put dates in it, and it was really, it was, it was pretty good. Hold for, excuse me, hold for five seconds. Whew. Now we're going to turn over, turn over on our stomachs. We're going to take a deep breath in and blow that out when we get to the top. Hold that for five seconds. Two, one. We're going to do that one, one more time. Deep breath in. Blow that out as you get to the top and hold that for five seconds. Good job, everybody. Now we're going to get up and we're going to push our bums back as we reach for something on the ground. We're going to reach, reach. This is stretching out our arms, our shoulders, 
everything that we worked with our arms, that's what this one is good for. It is so, it feels so good to stretch it like this. I don't know why, but it feels good for me. I don't know about y'all. All right, so let's get up. We're gonna start our core stomach vacuums. Whew. That was good. All right, I'm just gonna catch up. Good morning, Nan. Whew. Okay, stomach on, whoo, yes. Good morning, Nan. Okay, so I left off right here. The workout was awesome. Do you save the lives? Some of them, yes. Um, this one I'm probably gonna save. If you go to my YouTube channel, which is, oh, someone was already saying it. T Tanya, the introvert. Um, I put them on. I just loaded one this morning. I have two more from last week to load. So if you guys need to do the workout, if you, if you really like it, you can go on the YouTube Tanya space, the introvert. You can find the workouts there. We're all sweating. You missed the whole workout, Nan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, someone said she saves them on her YouTube. Yes, I do. Yes. Singing, so glad I made it, so glad I made it. Yay. Morning, Tasha. Um, all right, you guys are just explaining that. Do you work out for folks who don't want to lay on the ground next time? Okay, we can do that. We can add that in. Um, we can add that in. Thanks for motivating me. First time here, so glad I found you. Yay, I'm so glad that you found the page as well. Thank you, Diva. Yes, this helped me with my mental. I'm loving it. I fit it all. Yes. Good morning. Thank you so much. I'm going to do them later. This was a great workout. Definitely had to push myself this Monday. Arms, arms, arms. That was so good. A Monday workout. Sweet. Sweat is pouring. Yes. All right. I'm new at working out and I'm not sure what to do with breathing while working out. You want to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth all the time. You want to, you have to train your body for doing that. If you're breathing like this, all of that, you're gonna get out of breath, you're gonna feel out of whack, you're gonna get lightheaded, you're gonna give up. You wanna to try to focus in on breathing in through your nose and let that come out in, uh, through your mouth. So you wanna build, um, like try to think of it like a system, like a system. So you're gonna you know, breathe in and out. All right, so that's how you breathe when you're working out. Let me grab my chair because I want to do the stomach vacuums with the chair. <clears throat> this is um, everybody's best part of the workout after we do all of that. All right, so stomach vacuums. Don't forget to tap the screen. Oh, thank you so much. Greetings. <laughs> all right, so stomach back vacuums. If you are new here, it's an exercise that we do. It strengthens our core. It strengthens, and when you strengthen your core, guys, you strengthen your back, you strengthen your hips, you strengthen your knees. It's all intertwined. I use my weighted hula hoop while Tanya does the floor exercises. That is a good one. Okay, so Bev, so if you can't do the floor one either, then we can do, um, like we can do abs in the chair. So tomorrow, we're gonna try that out. We're going to try that out. Um, we're going to try to do core sitting in the chair, or we can do core actually standing up. All right. So we're going to do that tomorrow. I got to, you know, you got to try to make it easy for everybody. And that's why I'm here. Maybe I shouldn't even be on the ground either. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> All right. We're going to incorporate, incorpor incorporate that into the workout. So stomach vacuums, if you're just starting out, you want to put your hands up for this exercise. That's a great idea, right? The hula hoop one, right? Yeah. I got to catch my breath. All right. So deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. All right. You guys are following. Deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth, when you, blow, when you blow this one out of your mouth, you're going to engage your core muscles. Your stomach does not need to look flat. Okay, let me re repeat this. Your stomach does not need to look flat 
while you're doing this, you want to get you want to get in uh, acquainted with your core muscles. You want to know what those feel like. Engage them. All right. So we're going to do that right now. Deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth and engage your core muscles. You're going to breathe. <laughs> your hands are up in the air. You're going to breathe. You're fully engaging. And we're going to hold this for 20 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. The reason why I move around is so that I don't have to think about it. I have a cordless jump rope to do 100. Okay. That is awesome. I got to get me one of those because I keep tripping up over mine and it's not, it's not easy. It's not fun. <laughs> All right. So let's do the second one for this one. I'm going to lean over. Okay. I'm going to lean over. If you're new to it, you want to stand up. If you're experienced, you can lean over as well. So we're going to take a deep breath in and blow that out, blow that out and engage your core. And I'm going to lean. You don't have to lean because this one you're really going to feel. All right. And I'm going to tuck my stomach in as much as I can. And I'm going to hold that for 20 seconds. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Whew. It's really intense when you lean over. We are seasoned. Hello. Bev is seasoned. Okay. She is leaning over. She's leaning over with the stomach vacuum. Okay. Don't be playing games with the seasoned people. <laughs> all right. So we're going to do one more. All right. It's, um, it's 80 people in here. So I know all 80 don't know how to do it. But if you want to challenge yourself, you can lean over and see how it feels. It's truly going to engage your core muscles. So you're going to engage them. All right. You're going to try to hold, put your, try to envision that your belly button is going all the way to your back. It's being flat to your back. And then you're going to lean over and hold that for 20 seconds, not your breath. All right. So let's do that one more time. Deep breath in. Blow that out. Engage your core. You can do this one um, on all fours. You can do it sitting in a chair. You can do it um, laying down, however you want to do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're done with that. We are done with that. So stomach, stomach vacuums, they are a way, you're not going to get a six pack, but one thing that you are going to get is a stronger core, right? It's going to help you lose a few inches because you're going to strengthen your core. You are going to have a better pos pos posture, okay? You're going to be walking a little bit more fancier. Everybody's going to be like, what's going on? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is, I'm getting into being silly me. <laughs> I'm going to get side sidetracked and I'm going to forget what I'm supposed to be doing. So I usually drink my super green drink, as you guys know, after the workout, because it's a great, um, it has a lot of fiber, which fiber, if you're over the age of 35, okay, you want to have a lot of fiber, not, not a whole bunch, but you want to add, make sure, let me use that word instead. You want to make sure that you're getting your fiber. I can't find. Oh, there it is. I was looking for my measuring spoon. Great workout. It was a great workout. I agree. I'm walking fancier. Hello. You're walking fancy because your stomach, your core muscles are getting stronger. So you're walking a little bit fancier. Okay. You got to shimmy the shoulders as you walk. Like, hey, <laughs> I am new here. <laughs> Right? Don't don't tell me that I'm lying now. Because I know y'all walking fancy. Fancy. I also drink protein. So I started um I started with the pro the protein powder. And y'all, I don't know if this is helping me 
um, get a little bit more snatched. But the protein, this one, I'm not allergic to. If you're new here, you know, I'm, I, I just started this. I'm going on week two of doing this. First day and did it all. Oh my gosh, Tammy, that is amazing. <laughs> Give it up for Tammy. She did it all. Woohoo! Woo and Tammy, that's why we're, we're here. We're all here. Um, it's a group of us. We have men, women, everybody. We're all just trying to get fit and healthy. We're strengthening our core muscles. We're strengthening our bodies. And in all aspects, we're strengthening our mental health. Okay, we're strengthening our, our body's immunity. Like, we just got to keep going. It's all about being con con consistent. Being consistent. What's a good exercise to lose belly fat? Now, Molly, um, if you want to lose belly fat, the only way to lose belly fat is to be in a calorie deficit. The only way. The only way. So it's what you're putting in your body. If you're eating a lot of sugar, you're not going to lose that belly. If you're drinking, I used to drink vitamin water, y'all. Yes, this is Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. every Monday through Friday. 6 a.m. Eastern time. I, I used to drink vitamin water. Our daily allotment for sugar is 34 grams for every adult. And I was drinking vitamin water. There's two servings and one bottle of vitamin water. And it had 32 grams of sugar. So how much is that? That's 64 grams of sugar in one drink. One drink. I had to stop. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? And it's these little things that we don't even know that we do that is, is, is the reason why we're not getting to our goals. So what I would, su what I would suggest, Molly, um, I would suggest that, because I'm, I'm on a meal plan, and that person's name is Fine Fit Fitness on TikTok. I'm on a meal plan. Um, but if you just need some easy things to go, to go by, right, I'm going to share with you. <laughs> I'm going to share with you a little trick, easy trick. This is a regular dinner plate. What I do, half of this. Half of this is always vegetables. I put greens, I put um, zucchini, spinach, everything green is over here. I pack it on. I make this little quarter my meats, and this little quarter would be rice or po potatoes, all right? This little quarter, this little quarter. So if you're trying to lose weight, the, the easy way, because maybe you don't want to buy a, a meal plan, you can start with that making sure that half your plate is vegetables. The two quarters are meat and carbs because you need carbs because carbs are going to be your energy. Um, you also need to eat a lot of fiber, especially in the morning. So you want to stick with the berries. Don't eat bun bananas and pineapples and all that stuff just yet. If you're really trying to lose weight, because those things are packed with sugar and, and it's hard to gauge how much sugar is really in it because it's, it's a natural thing. It might have more sugar on one side than the other. That's why it's kind of, I stay, I stay away from all that stuff because the stuff that we're eating has sugar in it. So the, the bread that you eat in the morning that has sugar, the rice has sugar, the, everything has sugar. And when you have an overload of sugar in your body, it turns into fat. So it's not really all always the types of food. It's the sugar. The sugar is our worst enemy. I'm not going to lie. So that's why for me, I start my day out. I, I, I don't even crave sweets anymore, guys. I don't crave sweets, which is such an awesome thing. Blueberries and strawberries. Yes. So you, so you want to stick with the berries. Blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. Um, and what's the other one? Black, blackberries. They're high in fiber, high in antioxidants. They also, um, what's the other thing? They also don't make your sugar levels go high. They help if you're insulin resistant or pre, pre diabetic or you're diabetic, it helps with that. Um, and trust me, if you cut out sugar, you would see that your stomach will start to just look different. Yes. My mother uh, lose a lot of weight from stopping sodas. Hello, sodas have it. Sodas range 
you have blueberries every morning. That is that is good. I try to have at least strawberries or um, strawberries or blueberries. The blueberries have been going bad for me really quick quickly, but I'm not gonna lie. I be trying to eat them bad or not because I spent my money. <laughs> we spent our money, okay? So, but y'all know what I y'all know what I made for breakfast, okay? This is how these are. Kodiak pancakes, guys. Watermelon is full of sugar too. It is. I know people are having these watermelon um, like diet things, but if you drink watermelon juice all day, every day, if, if you drink any type of natural juice every day, all day, you will lose weight. But is it sustainable? Is it going to keep, is it going to stay off? Like once you start eating food, are you going to be able to keep, keep that off? No, it's going to come back. I love the jumbo ones in my oatmeal. Yes, I have strawberries every morning. Yes, my mind tells me berries are the best, yet Caribbean in me. Uh, Bev, I mean, you could eat it every now and then, those, mang those mangoes, but it's almost like you have to earn it, you know? So if, if you have been doing really good for a long time, then you could treat yourself to one mango, <laughs> one mango. Because if you got a craving, like you don't want to just live your life and not eat the the stuff that you truly like um you can have the stuff that you like every now and then show the pancakes Ooh, show the pancakes so these are kodiak pancakes what are kodiak let me show you the brand uh oh i have it stay um so y'all so i i make them so nice i put the syrup on while they're hot so when i'm so when i'm rushing out of the house because i'll be rushing out getting to work at the last minute <laughs> When I rush out, I just pop them in the microwave, put some berries on the side, and I'm good to go. And I eat that. Let me show you guys the brand. Thank you so much for saying that they look good. So far, I make the best pan pancakes in my family. So it's this brand right here. They are protein pancakes. So if you're into a healthy life lifestyle, which is I'm guessing why you're here, Kodiak pancakes, throw out the other stuff, eat this one. It's full of protein, which is what you need, especially if you're working out. You're making some right now. <laughs> I add walnuts. I don't like walnuts. Walnuts, you got to be careful because they are full of a lot of, I think it's fat. They're very fatty. They're a fatty nut. Tanya, I made Kodiak batter into waffles last night and I am liking it. Dang. You made, so you have a waffle maker? That's fancy, Bev. Ooh, you walking tall and you got a waffle maker? Fancy? <laughs> um, I make these with an egg and I add almond milk. So it adds more protein. Let me mirror it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Bev is fancy, y'all. So when you add the egg and milk, you add more protein to it and that's all and and that's what i add so kodiak pan pancakes if you don't have it please run to run to the store and get yourself and these are whole grains guys that's the very that's the most important thing whole grain if you can't eat whole whole grains eat them some people can't because of their bodies but if you could eat whole grains eat it it's best for you I feel like this way is kind of different. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm always smiling on one side more. Uh, so the I use regular syrup, but I use log cabin, no fructose corn syrup. So let me mirror this one too. No fructose, no high fructose corn syrup. If you only buy products that, if you buy products, okay, let's get into that time. Um, if you want to kind of stay away from extra sugar, look to see if your items have high fructose corn syrup, because if they do, put it down. If it has it, put it down. That is like, it is worse than sugar. It's um, more addictive. It's more... It really causes a lot of issues, especially with kids too. They say kids get really addicted to it. And that stuff is mostly in sugars, 
and walnuts and Philly antioch. Yeah. You know what? Almonds are not recommended for a lot of diets too. So I'm guessing that walnuts are the same. But me, me personally, I don't I don't like the taste of them. I don't like the taste of walnuts. Um, but yeah, but I just use regular syrup. I just make sure that it doesn't have high fructose corn syrup because that is extra sugar. It goes into your bloodstream a lot faster. It breaks down easier and it gives you that high fast, which if you are pre-diabetic or you're close to it or you're insulin resistant, you know that feeling you get when the sugar hits you when you're just, and you can feel it from the back of your head, rising all up to the top of your head and over your eyes. Like that's what high fructose corn, corn syrup does to you. It gives you that high feeling, which you don't really want if you're eating food, like, I don't want to feel like that. Um, making them mini pancakes maker. Ooh, I need to get a waffle maker like you guys. Screenshot them. Can you screenshot both? Okay, yes. Screenshot both healthier choices. Hold on, let me mirror it. Put it, you are pre, pre-diabetic, pre yeah. So you want to make sure that you're staying away from the fruit. So this is the Kodiak. You got that. I was di diagnosed with being pre-diabetic, which I thought I was in a good place, but now I read that you kind of have to live like you have it. So that's it, because I feel sick if I don't eat. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a good sign. Like when I when I don't eat, I get very like um, shaky. It's really bad. And that's how you know that you need to go to the doctor and get your blood work test. Because if you don't eat and then you feel shaky and you get the shakes, you need to go and let them test your blood, see if you have anything going on. Yeah. So you got to get your, so um, Molly, I would, I am not a doctor, right? But I'm on a meal plan from Fine Fit Fitness. Actually, wait until you go to the doctor. Go to the doctor, please. Set up an appointment. Let them do some blood work. Get your annual. Yeah. And let them see what's going on. Because the one thing that I can say is that if anybody is here and you're on a, uh, and you're on a journey, please go to the doctor and see if there's anything wrong first before you start doing a whole bunch of stuff with your body. Because for me personally, I know that I was borderline hypertension and diabetes. So I know what I have to do. I have to work out. I have to work out for the rest of my life because <laughs> the only way to beat those things is by dieting, eating right, and exercise. The only way to beat those things. The only way. All right. Once you get into taking insulin and stuff like that, you know, you have crossed another road, but, but diet and exercise. You can Google that. You can look on the CDC side. You can ask your doctor, diet and exercise. They go hand in hand for diabetes and hypertension. And my grandmother died at 62 years old from, uh, she had diet, she had diabetes. She never took care of herself. She ate McDonald's. Wendy's was her favorite. Taco Bell was her favorite. She never took care of herself. She ended up having um, a whole bunch of strokes back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Because that's what di um, diabetes is like the gateway to everything else. And how do we get it? By eating too much sugar. Our body doesn't know how to process sugar. It's, it's like, oh my gosh, it's an overload. So it's just getting a grasp on that stuff. So if you are suffering from those things, Molly, please, please, please take heed. <laughs> diabetes is the gateway to everything else. Gateway. Heart, heart disease diabetes, they all go hand in hand and it all has to do with our diet and our fitness. And I get it that we're all going to um, unalive at some point in time in our life, but we can at least try to live a happy life, ha a happy, healthy life as we're getting there. Yes. Thank you so much. And she died very young guys. Like if you think about that, that's young, 67. She didn't even <laughs> 67. Like when, when, that happened. I was like, Oh my gosh, I need to get my mind together. Yes. And my dad and grandma died from complications from diabetes. Yes. Diabetes is nothing to play with. And it's something that is preventable. And it's crazy that 
and I don't want to make this a controversial page because I'm here for positivity, but just to be real and 100% with you guys, diabetes is something that is preventable. All we got to do is just get up. And that's why I'm here every day on live to hold myself accountable and to be available for you guys. So if you guys want to wake up early and work out, we can do it to, together. Like I'm so passionate about it. When that doctor told me, and if, and if you are new here, my doctor, I went in for a checkup and the doctor was like, yeah, um, your, your, your pressure is kind of high and you're young to be on high blood pressure pills. She said that to me. It was like a light switch went off in my, in my brain. And I was like, no, sorry. And she was like, come, come back on Thursday. This is on like on Tuesday, Tuesday or Monday. She was like, come back on Thursday and get your blood work. And let's just check and see what's going on. I was like deuces and I left and I started working out from that day. <laughs> I started working out from that day. How much carbs can you have? You have to do a calorie cal calorie calculator to see how, how many carbs you should eat. I have one in my, in, my, in my profile or you can Google it, calorie calculator. And you can see, you put in your age, weight, um, activity level. And then you can see how many carbs you should eat if you want to lose one pound a week. So just aim for one pound and you will be able to see that. I actually look forward now to trying new vegetables. Yes. Try the vegetables, try new stuff. I, I never used to eat like, um, zucchinis and I love them. They are awesome. It's an awesome thing to add to my diet. Yes. I've been wanting to change my lifestyle for a while. I'm only 33. Molly. We got girl, <laughs> Molly is you better be coming back tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Molly, you better come, come back, join us every Monday through Friday. Even if you, you don't even have to do the whole thing. Just do a little bit of it. Just start small, do the first half, you know, and just do that. Um, eat more vegetables on your plate. Stop eating at the fast. The, the fast food was killing me guys it was unaliving me. Let me know. Thank you, Tara. Okay, okay. I'm going to be on time tomorrow. Tanya, hey, Tracy, long time no see. Thank you for the gift. It's hard for me to stay motivated. Well, okay. Um, people can lose after menopause. I'm 61. Yes. And it takes time. You're, you're not going to lose weight. Have a blessed day, guys. I don't, why, am I keep, why do I keep going on and I have to get ready for work? But I'm going to drink my green drink and, I'm gonna, and then I'm going to get off. But it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter where you're at in life. You can lose weight and get to a healthy weight for your body. You don't have to be like skinny mini because that's not what we're trying to do. Okay. Because my goal weight is still obese for my height. <laughs> but that's all I want to do. I want to get to my goal weight and then I'm going to start maintaining. And that's it. It's just about getting healthy. That's what it's about. And a part of getting healthy is losing a couple of pounds. Let's just be quite frank here. <laughs> but yes, guys, if you are here, thanks for being such an inspiration. Thank, thank you so much, Kay. If you are here and you're trying to get healthy, calorie deficit is key. Um, mon monitor how often you're eating fast processed food. Monitor that stuff. Keep track of it. Don't eat it too much. I am drinking a green drink. I drink this every morning now. It is by Your Super. And it's supposed to help with, it gives your body a lot of fiber, antioxidants. It has maca. It has only six, in, six ingredients, no fillers. It has wheatgrass, barley grass, moringa, ba, baobaba. Okay, I am not going to say it, but it has six ingredients and they all help to give you that boost for the day. What is your goal weight? Yours is 155. I My goal weight is 160 or 165. And I weighed myself yesterday and I'm 171. So is it good? It is good for you. Um, it was created by these people that the, the husband had cancer. So they looked for all these products that are, are, are not products. They look for all these things that are going to help with that. So it's supposed to help your body fight against free uh, radicals, like fight. <laughs> knock them out. Um, sorry, that was so cheesy, y'all. <laughs> it is getting late. Um, so yeah, it helps your body to fight free radicals, which um, is very good for your body. 
what do you drink? So I drink this, then I have a pro a protein drink, which is plant based. Can you show it again? Yes. And it helps you, and it has some stuff in here to help you um, to help your body lose weight as well. Um, this is your super super green. When you first start taking it, you are going to get bloated because it has a lot of fiber. So, but fiber is very good for your body because it helps to flush out your intest intestines. It helps to clean it out. It also helps to feed the healthy gut bacteria that we need in order to keep our guts healthy. And you can get it at Target. You can get it at Target. You can find it on Amazon. They have a website where you can sign up for a subscription, which I'm about to. What time zone is 6 a.m.? First time here and you love it. Yay! Welcome, and I hope you come back tomorrow. The beautiful skin, thank you. It is, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get toned with you all. Hello. Come back and get toned. What is it called? It's your super. Um, I They actually sent me that so that I can give a review and I loved it. So I actually bought my pro protein powder. I bought my pro my protein powder from them because it's all natural. And I'm usually allergic to something in pro protein powder. And that one, I'm not, I'm not allergic to anything. Going to start taking my fiber daily. Hello. Fiber is very important. If you didn't know, it's very important. And Molly, it's 4 a.m. in Cal You're in Cali. Oh, my gosh. I will be here tomorrow on time, ready to work out. Okay. That sounds great, guys. Woo, ciao. Let me drink this really quick. I got to make my protein drink. And then we're going to see my Tanya, my supervisor, knows your name. Got her on season. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Y'all, I have to go, too, because I got to get the baby ready. And I also got to make my pro, my pro, blah, blah, my protein drink and take my vitamins. What time are you on? I'm on at 6 a.m. Eastern time. Have a great day, guys. Whew. Look at me. I don't I don't even know what to do because it's it's kind of late. This drink, it tastes like spinach. I just want to warn you, if you do happen to get to buy this, it tastes like spinach, like a spinach salad with no no type of dressing. You're drinking your protein too. That is good. But not the protein drinks, guys. Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. Pre Premier and stuff like that. I don't mess with that stuff because it's it, it has sugar in it. And then your daily allotment for sugar is like that. That's it. Like you can't eat anything else. So just be careful with those things. Ugh. So this has a lot of like, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of gritty. Yeah, it has a lot of sugar, so you just want to be careful. Like, I was actually drinking that for two weeks, and I gained weight. Like, I I, I bulked up, which was, it was telling me that it, that it had too much sugar in it. For me, it might be different for you, but it bulked me up, which is not a good sign. I was probably, I mean, I honestly, I don't know what it was doing to um to my body specifically, but all I know is that I bulked up when I drank that stuff and it wasn't a good bulk. It was like a, oh my gosh, what is going on? So just be careful with those things. They're high in sugar. All right, guys, I'm going to make my protein drink and I'm going to get ready for work. So I appreciate all you guys for being here with me, having the little chit chat. I truly enjoy it. Make sure that you come back tomorrow, 6 a.m., we start the workout at 6.05, and we're here Monday through Friday. So if you need a workout community, this is it, okay? This is the workout com community. <laughs> Tracy, I missed you too. <laughs> you haven't been here. Um, uh, we're all here Monday through Friday. Are you late, at, late for work? I am not late yet, but... I still got to go take a shower. I got to get the baby ready. I got to get myself together. So I try to give myself some time. I also try to film a little video or two, but I, I like I have two things in drafts that I can post. So have a great day, guys. Molly, I hope to see you back tomorrow. If not, 
you can do the workouts from the YouTube channel, which is on Tan Tanya, the in Tanya space, the introvert on YouTube. I load some of the workouts there. If it's not too long, like this one's going to be so long, so I might not load it because it's going to take forever to edit in my computer. Um, you're welcome for all the information. If you're here and you want to follow and you want to work out with us tomorrow, make sure you hit the follow button. I'm going to give you guys a few seconds for that because if you don't hit the follow, you won't get the notification that I'm on live and you won't be here for the great workout because tomorrow we're, we're going to be doing standing abs since we have some people that can't do ab workouts laying down. We want to make sure that we accommodate for everybody and standing abs might be a little bit better. So come back tomorrow. I will be here. I just subscribed to your channel. Yay. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yes. And I just load them usually like this. If, if I load this one, I probably won't load all of the chit chat towards the end, but I usually load them just like this. All right. So I'll see you guys. So if you made a comment and I said anything to you, you're going to hear your name when you watch the videos. <laughs> all right. So I appreciate all of you guys. I'm going to drink my protein. I'm going to go get everybody ready. Ten Tanya space the introvert. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. All right. So I'm all caught up. Doris, have a nice day. Queen, have a nice day. Molly, have a nice day. Diva, have a nice day. Bye, you guys. Don't forget to drink your water. So if you need to buy a jug to drink your water, buy a jug, drink your water. You should be drinking at least half a gallon. This is half a gallon, and I fill this up at least once a day. So I fill it up in the morning, and I fill it up for lunchtime, and then I'm good. So drink your water. Eat your, pro eat your protein. Eat your protein. Oh, share, share the protein drink. It is by Your Super. It's a plant pro protein. Y'all just got me on here. I'm going to have to dash off. It's, it's only, okay, have, hold on. Let me turn it so you guys can see the ingredients. Ah, why am I not, this whole mirror thing. Okay, these are the, in, the ingredients in it. Hold on. This has a little bit of a. It, it's only, it has rice, all these things, nothing in here I'm allergic to. So it's vegan. Um, it's by the same com uh, company as the green drink, which is your super plant protein. All right. It's all about getting healthy. And I add, I add almond milk and water and I just drink this. All right. So make sure that you guys check them out. See if it works for for you. It's been working for me so so far. So that's it. And drink your water. Have a nice day, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Wah! This is the longest I've been on. Oh my gosh. <laughs>